Hi guys and welcome to All About The Philippines. Now more and more men are moving to live in the Philippines each and every year and more so now since Thailand has made it more difficult for expats to reside there. Some of these men may end up destitute in the Philippines and I have three types of men who run a higher risk of becoming destitute in the Philippines and believe me being destitute in such a country won't be a pleasant experience. So stay tuned to find out who these men are. Now just quickly guys, if you're planning to go to the Philippines anytime soon and you're looking for the best airfares online, then you're going to want to check out HolidayEscapeTravel.com. I'll put that link in the description below and you'll certainly get the best airfares online and save some cash. So let's have a look at the three types of men I believe are likely to end up destitute in the Philippines. And of course I'm referring to foreign men who go to the Philippines and could easily end up destitute on the streets. So the first type of man is the one chasing love. Men will go to live in the Philippines for varying reasons such as they may have a girlfriend or a wife who is from the Philippines and he may decide that he doesn't want to move her away from a family. Got to remember guys that not all Filipinas are keen to leave their family and their friends and everything they know and go to another country. So this guy will pack up and he'll go and live with her in the Philippines or perhaps he tried to get a visa for her to his country and that visa may have been rejected for whatever reasons. So his alternatives are to either finish the relationship or if he cares for her he may go and live with her in the Philippines rather than continue an indefinite long distance relationship. The second type is what I call the misfit. Some men may go to the Philippines as a single man who has had a very difficult time in his country. He may have been married and divorced or could be a misfit in society and he thinks by going to the Philippines that will be the answer to all his problems and he may also be very disillusioned with the direction that his country is going and sees the Philippines as a paradise with less stress and worry than he has in his own country. And okay, there's nothing wrong with change or looking for what he thinks would be a more suitable lifestyle for him. But the question is, has he done his homework and is he prepared for such a big move? The difference in culture and having enough money to cover the rest of his life while he's in the Philippines. Now, of course, as a single man, when he gets to the Philippines, he may very well at some point meet a nice Filipina and start a relationship with her. And of course, as we all know, when you're dating or married, your expenses double. They become far more than you ever anticipated. But now add this into the mix. If he's dating a woman who also has a child. Now instead of two to look after, he's got three. So the finances even go higher than he ever would have considered before he left his home country. The third type of foreign man who could end up destitute in the Philippines is what I call the one who has no thought and is rather reckless. So now you can start to see where I'm going with this video. Things happen in foreign countries that we don't think of or can't see when preparing for a move. And of course, some foreign men who go to the, live in the Philippines are just plain reckless as they have gone there with no real plan or very little savings. And they think they can survive on very little money. So here's what can happen to each of these types of guys who go to live in the Philippines. The first guy who's going off and chasing love and went to the Philippines to be with his Filipina girlfriend, well, he may not have really known her all that well. And really, guys, you don't have to look too far or too hard to find similar stories where guys race off to the Philippines to be with their new Filipina girlfriend very quickly and they either get scammed or they end up homeless and destitute on the streets. You do see that quite a bit. 
And many of those guys that you hear the stories about where they claim to be scammed, they're just like this guy who may have only known this Filipina for a very short few months before deciding she's the love of his life and he goes off and he'll do things like buying a lot for her or buying a nice little house to put on the lot, which most likely would be close to the Filipina's family. So at this point in time, all appears to be going all very well for this guy. And as we know, foreigners cannot own land in the Philippines. The land must be in the name of a Filipino citizen. And in most cases like this, it will be in the foreign man's girlfriend's name. So at this time, this man has put most of his savings into the lot and the house. And he thinks the remainder of his savings will be enough to live on with a smallish budget of, let's say, $600 per month. He may have even some small residual income or a government pension, which will make his life with the Filipina somewhat comfortable, or so he thinks, until he comes home one day and finds his house full of his girlfriend's family and three of her brothers meet him at the front door and tell him to leave and not come back. The girlfriend and her family have now taken the house and kicked him out. And remember, she can do this and he can't do a thing because the land is in her name and if he doesn't go, the brothers may just teach him a lesson or force him to go. So while this man may have some residual income or a pension, how far will that get him in the Philippines now he has to start from scratch? Or will he just decide to cut his losses and return home like so many foreigners have done before him? And he'll be going home in a far worse position than he left. I mean, he spent all his money in the Philippines. He's now got nowhere to live in his own country, so he's most likely going to have to rely on relatives or friends for help. And he's in a pretty terrible way, but at least back in his own country where he's got some support, he's not going to end up destitute. Or one would hope he's not going to end up destitute. Now, from here, it gets even worse for the next type of men who go to live in the Philippines. And these are the guys who can easily end up destitute. As I said before, it is a harsh reality. And it does happen to some of these foreign guys who run off to the Philippines. So the second guy who's a misfit and had enough of his own country because he may have had a few minor run-ins with the law or not got on with his family, friends and people in general may feel rather isolated in a country he believes no longer is suited to him. So this guy may have had such a difficult time for many years and could even have some depression or anxiety or even other types of mental health issues, which may impact upon his decision making. In his own mind, he's now in a hurry to escape his own country for the prospect of a better life in the Philippines. And in that process, he's really rushed things and not really thought through the entire process, well, at least rationally anyway. And he may not have done his research into the cost of living in the Philippines and just thinks it's so cheap his money will last forever. And maybe he's even budgeted pretty well for himself in the Philippines. But then, as I said earlier, things happen and he might find an unexpected love with a nice Filipina and she may even have a child. He starts dating her and buying her gifts and taking her out as people do when they're dating. And maybe after a period of time, they even rent a little house somewhere for the three of them and all of a sudden he's finding that his money is going a lot quicker than he ever imagined or planned for when he went to the Philippines. So now the lifestyle that he imagined he was going to have in the Philippines is drastically different to what he imagined before he's left his own country. And guys, this does happen and yes, it is real. So really do your due diligence before making such a huge move to go to the Philippines for whatever reason. Now we get to the third type of foreign man and the one who is most likely to become fully destitute 
and living on the streets of Manila, as we've seen far too many times already. Typically, this type of guy has watched some videos on the Philippines and marvels at the beauty and wonder of the Philippines and can't believe how inexpensive things are in the Philippines. The guy has never been to the Philippines before, or maybe just once or twice on a couple of short visits and thinks this is the go for him. This guy doesn't have any real plans on where he'll live or even what sort of budget is realistic. In his mind, he thinks he can live on a pittance just like the locals do. But what he doesn't consider is the locals have learnt to adapt to this lifestyle for many, many years. And they will have their own families, their own support systems to help each other on a daily basis. And this foreign guy has none of that. And this guy with his reckless I-know-it-all type of attitude most likely hasn't even considered health issues in the Philippines and could be vulnerable to diseases such as polio, malaria, hepatitis A and B, or both, just to name a few. So this guy only has a few thousand dollars and no residual income or pension to fall back on. The guy thinks he's tough, he's a bit of a warrior, and nothing can touch him after all. He's been in many tough situations in his country before, and he thinks he can handle just about anything no matter where he goes. And I'm sure we've all seen people like that in our own countries, but it's a far different matter when you go to a foreign country such as the Philippines to have that sort of attitude so far from home. So this guy's going to arrive in the Philippines all pumped up, ready to go like Rambo, and he's got his, you know, five or $6,000, and he'll feel like he's rich. He'll feel like He's the king there in the Philippines. He's going to go to the nightclubs and bars. He's going to eat in good restaurants. And really, his focus is just on the here and now and having a great time in this new country he's going to make his life in. But after a short time, he does see how fast he's actually going through his money. But he just keeps on going. And, of course, he needs somewhere to rent, so he'll go and rent a little place for maybe, you know, 8, 10, 12,000 pesos a month. And he might have taken out a 6 or 12 month lease. But after a few short months, he realizes that this money isn't going to last. And he can't get employment in the Philippines to earn any money. And is now starting to get a little bit desperate and worried. When he gets evicted for non-payment of his rent, he's now on the street and may turn to begging on those streets of Manila, as we see, just to get a few pesos a day to buy a small meal. And yes, maybe just one small meal per day. He's now thinking he needs a bit of assistance, so he thinks his home country's embassy will be the place to go, and they're sure to help him. But many of the embassies will refuse to help him, as they see far too much of this reckless behaviour. And it may not be in their power to assist this guy for whatever reason they have. So now he's stuck in the Philippines with no money, no job, no type of income. He has nowhere to live and has no access to any medical services. So he's now totally dependent upon himself and he's destitute in the Philippines. And only now does he take a little bit of time to reflect on where he went wrong and where he missed all the red flags along the way. And life is very grim with no likelihood of ever improving for this guy. Guys, these stories, make no mistake, are very real. And they have existed before. They exist now. And they will exist into the future. The question is, will you be one of these three types of guys? Or will you be the careful one who is thorough and plans your finances well? to do the vast amount of research you need to live in the Philippines successfully. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video or found the information useful, then give us a big thumbs up. Feel free to comment below, but please remain respectful. We have a zero tolerance on any type of abuse or bad language in our community, and I intend to keep it that way. Share the video with all your networks and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on 
the notification bell for more videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. Take care and bye for now.